Anticipated, gosh, what's it called? The National Card Collectors Convention, the NCCC. So we're on our way to the NCCC, and we're gonna have some fun. Um, whether we find or buy any awesome cards, uh, we're gonna have a good time on the Layla and Fury show. <laughs> she hates that. <laughs> All right, so we're about to uh, go meet up with my homie Eric and his son. Um, so thinking about what I'm anticipating about today, um, I was anticipating um, seeing Gary Vaynerchuk, who's a guy that I've been following in the entrepreneurial world, uh, super inspiring stuff. Um, he's got a foul mouth, but he speaks real, and um, um, it's, it's stuff that's uh, inspiring and so cool to have somebody who's uh, kind of like a crazy alpha male who, who talks rough, talk about empathy and kindness and treating people more importantly than treating businesses. It's so cool. But anyways, I was uh, looking forward to seeing him, uh, but now I'm looking forward to some cards. All right, well, we are almost there. We're gonna find some cheap parking, then we're gonna get in there and see what stuff we can buy. Any last words? No. <laughs> okay. Say hi. <laughs> so it's like a big passive. I don't know what you would call this. You know, this is kind of this is kind of like uh, looking at an ant farm. <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. all the ant farms, and they're all moving towards the honey or the the sugar that was left. It's not oh. bees, I know. No way. They were feeding ants honey. Remember? Oh yeah, the video where the ants had their uh, the butt filled with the colored honey. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think about the uh, car show so far? So expensive. <laughs> like, Everything's really priced high. The most I've seen was eighty thousand. Like, yeah, we've seen eighty thousand dollar cars, forty thousand dollar cars. Like we're talking Jordan rookies and all that stuff. That is crazy. Florida guy. Game worn sign. And then they got those, the, the what was it, uh, the eights, sevens? It's eight? funny that the shoes are 400,000, but like the autographs and five Hall of Famers is eight. I mean, here's the difference though. Game worn. The first edition of his, his shoes that are still, you know, in production these days. So that that makes it a bit more sense to me than just the autograph. I mean, goodness gracious, that's just crazy. To me. I'm just like I'm like in awe right now. Justin Fields cards. Um, and you know what? 
I've discovered, I don't know why it took me this long to turn the light bulb on. I want a, a reasonably priced Jackie Robinson car. Um, like, not to sell, but like just to have. Like, I feel like that's a piece of history that I want to have as I'm sitting here rocking his hat. I didn't even think about it. So, uh, that would be super dope. So, hopefully, we can find some of that. So, let's continue. Disneyland card. <laughs> oh, Star Wars. It is official. I have decided that I am actually going to get in the market for a Jackie Robinson card. Um, I feel like it blends passions of now with passions of old. And I um, still love collecting stuff. And um, yeah, man, I want to be a part of like, that Jackie Robinson history. I wanna, it might not even just be collecting the cards. I think I might even just collect Jackie Robinson and work really uh, in general. But I just saw like a four grand card, one for 600, one for uh, 900, or no, one for 900, one for 6,000, one for 4,000. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. We're going to see, we're going to see what I can do as far as collecting those. So that would be super dope. So, yeah, we're having a good time, wandering, hanging out with the, uh, with our friends, Eric and Kyle, and Layla and I are getting some good daddy-daughter time. Um, I'm getting a little hungry, so snacking on my bag full of Sour Patch Kids. Call them my fat nuggets. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, we're going to keep wandering and see if we come up with some cool stuff. So, uh, for the nostalgia, I got some upper decks. I think these are 92, 93, no, 93, 94 cards. So, we'll see. We'll do an opening for that later. We got the, uh, I don't know why, uh, Michael Jackson cards. Um, I think uh, since the, the, you can even hear the gum in there, we might have to show me going to the hospital and eating the gum. So, uh, you guys will get to see that. Uh, got this freebie. For following them on Instagram. What were they called? Wild something? Wild, I don't know. Wild whatever. So they were free. We got a bunch of Bears cards. There's like jersey inserts and uh, 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 a Mike, uh, Khalil Mack rookie card. But then the most important card we got this Jackie Robinson card right here. 1979 cards from TCM Baseball, whatever the heck that means. History series, so it wasn't actually when he was playing, but it's uh, uh, kind of a card that's showing back in the history. But it's a PSA uh, rated card that uh, really uh, shows you that it's super mint rating. So, super awesome. Super excited about all the cards we got. And now we're gonna walk, walk the dairy over there for a little bit longer, and then we're gonna go eat. So, I'll let you later. Yo, so we um, talked with my wife after purchasing the cards and it turns out she in no way understands card collecting and is actually kind of upset with me because I spent money on cards. So now we need to have a conversation about what that's all about. Man, good luck trying to convince her about NFTs in the coming years. She don't understand cardboard. She definitely won't understand digital collecting. <laughs> All right, well, we are on our way to where, Layla? Red Lobster! Red Lobster! The fancy seafood place. It's not really fancy, but like, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's the fancy that I grew up in. When we wanted to live fancy, there were two places. Olive Garden or Red Lobster. Oh, green light, gotta go. Kind of fancy, whatever. We're gonna go. What is this 
speed limit is too fast. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I don't know, I'll go 40. So Layla's now driving. We're almost done with the awesome day. See, it's 45, so you're fine. <laughs> We're almost done with this awesome oh, the day. Mirrors. What? She is freaking out right now, you guys. I don't want to do this. <laughs> uh, she doesn't want to drive. She doesn't want to drive. She I'm terrified. Wanna... I feel like I'm honestly going to get hurt. You're not going to get hurt. Don't panic. I just need Stray Kids in the background. You got your Stray Kids theme song. You got Daddy right theme here. Song. You know, uh, we just got a belly full of Red Lobster. Why Thank you. So Thank you, Aunt Jean, for the, uh, the gift card stimulus package for the kids. Layla and I took advantage of that. Mateo took advantage of all the McDonald's. <laughs> that was a trade-off. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys, uh, it's, been a, it's been a great day, like a great day today, like top to bottom. We had a lot of fun. Hope you enjoy uh, watching and kind of going along on the journey. Um, if you um, um, stick around, uh, you'll see... I don't know, so we'll probably have some uh, more trading card videos. We're going to have more vlogs, more fun and exciting stuff that we're going to be doing as a family. And if you're someone who enjoys that, I would recommend going ahead subscribing right now because I'm sure you already hit like on the video. So, wow. And my girl, she's like Dale Earnhardt over here. I, you're, it's your freaking car. Pray for us. Bye, y'all. All right, you guys, so we are now back at the house, ready for some of the openings, but uh, let me show off the haul. Officially, we showed you some of these while we were there, but like, so we've got some uh, Matt Forte um, jersey insert cards. Um, they all are uh, from the years while he was with the Bears. This one actually is kind of cool, it says all pro material. And what I love about these insert cards is they're all um, numbered cards and this one right here is especially cool because it's got a uh, the actual date that that jersey was worn um, and these are just some other like kind of special ones got a couple Gale Sayers uh, one of my favorite all-time running backs um, Khalil Mack rookie card so this is a 2014 Panini um, rookie card for Khalil Mack um, when he retires, that might end up being worth something even more. Anthony Miller rookie card. I wouldn't have bought this had it not been so cheap because we just traded him. And the reason we traded him is because he's kind of, a, uh, I guess, a, an issue in the locker room. But he's a star, and I hope he gets no. his stuff together because he'll be great somewhere else soon. So we got that one. Then I got some other jersey insert cards for Elshon Jeffrey. He was, like, one of my favorite uh, uh, wide receivers for the Bears. So those are cool. This little pennant card. This autograph one. So this guy is a classic quarterback for the Bears, Bobby Douglas. And this card is from like the late 60s or early 70s autograph. It was like four bucks. I was like, yeah, let's do it. You know, why not? And then of course, my Jackie Robinson card. This is just the beginning. This is gonna have sentimental value for it. Uh, it's the card that started me in my uh, collection there. Now I gotta try not to have too many fights with my wife about these cards, so we're gonna keep this on the DL. Because she's not a big fan of this. She just was like, you, you spent how much on cardboard? <laughs> well, let's see what other cool cardboard we got. So we got two uh, Upper Decks, 93, 94 Upper Deck packs we're gonna open for um, um, basketball cards. We got whatever this was. I think this is like an unknown brand that's trying to make a name somewhere. It's like wild card trading or something. We'll see what's in that. That was free. And then we'll save this one for last. The Michael Jackson pack that has the gum in there. And um, go ahead and like the video right now if you want me to open up the gum. <laughs> it even says MJJ Productions. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Okay, so let's start with this freebie pack. See what's in here. Now they were selling like a monster box of these for like $1,500. I thought that was a bit extreme. But even though these cards are kind of like, who knows, maybe bogus, there's a Justin Fields in here. I'll be super pumped. There's some decent players in general. I'll be all, uh, satisfied. So let's see what's in here. Listen to me, satisfied. It was free. So I mean, it could be like, Oh wow, is that really Troy Trey? No, that's somebody else. Never. That was Trevor Lawrence for a second. 
All right, so we got Trey Lance. Wild card. Okay. I mean, the cards are cool. I will say that. Javante Williams. These are really slick looking. Oh, there's three cards in here. Wow, okay. And Quiddy Pay. Whatever that means. But he's from the Wolverines. And I was born in Ann Arbor, so that's my squad. So. Alright, well, hey. It was free! We will add those over here. Which which pack should I do, Layla? The right. My right or your right? My this one? Alright. So we got NBA basketball, upper deck, 93-94. That means this pack right here is 21 plus 7, almost 30 years old. So let's see what's this. Vlade Diva from the Los Angeles. Oh my gosh! The <laughs> so check this out. Check this out. I'm holding. I'm holding the last card in the deck. They're literally stuck. They've been in this deck so long. They're literally stuck together. So let's see if it's. Hopefully it's not like stuck, stuck. Okay, good. Because otherwise it's like, oh, these are just all damaged. <laughs> so Vlade Divac, I cannot even get him from this first one. There we go. Vlade Divac, he was actually pretty good. Del Curry, was never a big fan. Kevin Johnson was good, but I'm not really a fan. Calvert Chaney. I don't really care about him. Johnny Dawkins, I don't even know who that is. J.R. Reed, he thought he was gonna be somebody. <laughs> Willie Anderson, nah. Tony Campbell, nah. Brad Doherty, for some reason this card, actually I remember this card, was worth something when everybody thought he was gonna be great, but I don't remember him ever being great. So we'll see about that. There's the Lakers card, the 93-94 Lakers. Some sort of playoff card highlight from the, the playoff game. And then the 93-94 Warriors card. All right. Well, that pack, in my opinion, was a dud. So let's see what's in this MJ. Well, it's got MJ on the cover but it's an upper deck pack. I mean, even if it's worth nothing, I'd be super pumped if we got like an MJ in here or a Scotty or some of the other guys I enjoyed watching coming up. So here we go. We got John Sally. Probably towards the end of his career. Stanley Roberts. Never heard of him. John Starks. He was actually kind of good. Whoop, whoop. Grant Long, Walter Bond, I don't know who that is. There's literally two Walter Bonds in here, back to back for the same stinky guy I never heard of. Randy Brown, he played for the Bulls for a minute. He was actually on one of the championship teams. So, there's that. Antoine Carr, eh. Cedric Sabalas, he was good. So, there's that. Hey, we got a Michael Jordan. So it says season leaders. This is Jordan leading the league in steals. So I'll take that. I mean, what? Both packs cost $2 a piece. This one, maybe it's not like worth a whole lot, but like I'm a Jordan fan. And I love that I got to open up a Jordan card 30 years later. Season leaders. Cool. So even if that for me is just worth four bucks, so be it. And then we got a 93-94 Magic card, which that back when we went, they had Shaq. So that's kind of cool. And the last card is a duplicate of one we got in the other pack. A highlight card. 
All right, so I'm not gonna call that one a dud at all. Uh, we got the Jordan, a Jordan card in that, and I will say that that makes up for both packs, in my opinion, since they were only two dollars a pack. So, we'll put them over here, the rest over there. And can I tell you, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous about the Michael Jackson pack here. Um, let me see what ingredients are in that gum. Sugar, gum base, dextrose, corn syrup, softeners, natural, artificial flavors, and coloring. Okay, it might not die, so that's good. Um, How old is it? 1984. So that is 30, almost 40 years. That is 37 years ago. 37 years. Let me put it this way. I'm 43. And I was six. I was six. That's actually disgusting. <laughs> you don't think I should eat it? No, you should definitely eat it. <laughs> should definitely eat it. Okay, so it says there's three super gloss photo cards. So this is like uh, K-pop PCs, Layla, before super PCs. Gloss. <laughs> super glossy photo cards, three stickers, and one stick of bubble gum. So if I'm like you know, wishing for certain cards. I hope I get a smooth criminal card, <laughs> a thriller card, or a beat it card. Anything from any of those videos. If I get the leaning card where he's leaning in smooth criminal, game over. What are the kind of cards are I have no idea. I don't even know what this is, Layla. I've never heard of these. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, uh oh. Before I read anything, what I already see on the back of this, it says something about school kids. I'm concerned. <laughs> it being Michael Jackson. Okay, so we got that. And it says Michael Jackson has gone beyond success. He is an international phenomenon. His album Thriller, the most popular record in the history of the music business, continues to rack up impressive sales. And school kids. Consider Michael a genuine pop hero. It's got like some cool little dance moves on the back. So there we go. So I got I got a bunch of Michaels today. I got a Michael Jordan. Now we got some Michael Jacksons. Oh gosh, that's from uh, was that Don't Stop Till You Good Enough? I think. <laughs> Most of Michael Jackson's older fans recall that during the 1970s, Michael was featured as an animated cartoon character on a weekly network TV, Jackson 5 cartoon series, which spotlighted many of the group's hits, much in the same manner as music videos do today. What they meant by today was 37 years ago. <laughs> because you don't even see that. They were basically would be talking about what would be on YouTube. Oh, here he is. Here he is. That's, that's what he calls the lady catch. That look right there. <laughs> he's, he's ready to be in a K-pop video. You see all the makeup? Oh my God. <laughs> it says, while maintaining his position with the Jackson 5, Michael established himself as a solo artist with an array of hit singles and albums beginning in 1971. These memorable tunes included Gotta Be There, Rockin' Robin, and Ben, which was nominated for an Oscar. All right. And then we got some stickers. Oh, and I love how if you collect all the stickers, the back of it makes like a picture. So like the back is like, you know, it's like a... So, yeah. There we go. There's your Michael Jackson cards. And the final piece, oh wow, it's like a whole, that is actually cool. I don't even know if I want to open that. Are you serious? No, but I will. But that looks so cool. See, normally in the baseball card back packs that had gum, it was just like a raw piece of gum right in there. Ew, really? Yeah, oh yeah. It was like they considered the box, the packaging, that was it. That was your packaging for the gum. Mm. So the fact that this has legit like wrapping, that's pretty cool. I want to take a picture of this real quick. Okay. So, thankfully, I can just slide this off so I don't destroy the packaging. 37 year old gum. 37 year. This gum was created when I was six years old. That's disgusting. I am 42. 
and it still looks totally normal. It looks like pristine condition. Now, you know what would be the most terrifying thing? Everybody pay attention to me. If your mouth starts frothing. If the gum is totally fine. Oh. You know why that's terrifying? That means you should never eat gum. Because they put so much stuff in the gum then to make sure it doesn't. That's like the things McDonald's they show you about the McDonald's. Nuggets. Exactly. The fact that McDonald's chicken nuggets could last for 20 years without going bad. That's a problem. So. Ooh. Smell like feet. Oh, I want to smell it. All right, here we go. <gasps> I heard it. I heard a crunch. crunch. The lip slack, the lip smacking. Is there flavor in it? There's flavor actually. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, so. <laughs> so at, at first, at first it's full. Oh, at first it's fine, and it's just like you're just breaking it up. But then you actually get into the ingredients when they interact with your saliva. And then it releases all of these flavors, we'll call them. <laughs> but it's like, it tastes like I've just been in the drywall. <laughs> but now it's getting better. I think, I, I, think I, I went past the worst of it. And now, now, it tastes mostly fine. Like, I mean, I'll just have a little twitch for about 10 years. But what does it look like? Still looks pink. Still chewing. <laughs> what if I can make a bubble with it? Oh my gosh, so this this actually is. It's like a mouth. It's, egg. Yeah, it's like giving you a workout. And one of the things I struggle with with gum is I usually swallow it. That ain't happening here. I am not swallowing this. <laughs> I'm not trying that. And it's and it's really it's really becoming like it's like when you leave Play-Doh out for too long. That's what it feels like in my mouth right now. It's like hard. You don't. Ooh. I can't make a bubble with this. But I want to see how long I can chew it. Put it in the description. So it's 620. Put in the description or put in the uh, comments right now. I guess for how long I ended up chewing this. Oh my gosh, did I just give myself a challenge? Because now, even when it's like nasty, I'll just keep doing it because of the competition of it. You did that to yourself. I know, I don't, why did I do that? Well, you can always well. get it up and just tell it happen. Well, let's do this. Max, so what, it's, it's 6.20 in the evening. Max, 10.30, so four hours. Between five minutes and four hours. How long do you think I'm gonna keep it in my mouth? I don't know. How, you got any predictions? Mm, I'd give you an hour. See, see what's silly? Anybody that guesses under an hour, you're ridiculous. Because I'm a competitor. I'm just saying. Um, gosh, this is really bad though. So maybe, maybe she's right. <laughs> I'm gonna have a headache in an hour. Just been trying to chew it. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Um, why well, you guys? We had fun with Michael, and Michael, and Jackie, and all of my new friends, and hopefully I made some new friends there. Go ahead, like the video, subscribe, do what you do, and I'll see you back here on the next one. Peace.